Hey everybody, Derek here from Fun With Linux. Uh, this week's episode, we're gonna be tackling flash drives, but not in the way you think. See, when you take a flash drive on Linux, often people think of putting operating systems on this or you know, just making computers out of them. I'm not here to do that. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can recover your entire Grub setup just with a flash drive. So it doesn't involve much setup. It's actually easier than you think. And for some reason, a lot of people don't really do it. Honestly, if you take Grub2, it's the most used bootloader on Linux. And the recovery settings for Grub, they're completely terrible if you run through the Grub recovery process. It involves making an ISO image, running through the command line, doing all the stuff. And honestly, that's just not something that I think is worth doing. It's just, it's just so tedious and honestly, the better thing to do, in my opinion, is to take your existing bootloader and reinstall it directly to this flash drive. That way, when you have problems, when your Grub bootloader doesn't load up, you can just plug it straight into the computer, you know, and it will know exactly where all your hard drives are and everything can go on just as it should. So let's get started. All right, so I'm at my desktop and the best way to make a USB Grub thing like we're talking about is to open up a terminal, I have one right here. First you need to figure out exactly where it is on the system. So to do that, just run lsblk and and uh, I'll put everything in this description so you can understand what I'm talking about, but just list the blocks and it'll show you all of the hard drives. And uh, I've got my flash drive right here. So currently my flash drive is mounted, so I'm gonna need to unmount it by doing sudo umount dev stc1. Now that it's not mounted, you can still see it on the system. It's just not on anything. So now I can format it to the format that I want it to be. So that format would be FAT32. So I just run that. There we go. So now after that, all that you really need to do at this point is just make a mount folder and uh, get a root shell because it's faster. But uh, yeah, just do MKDIR p and you make that folder and everything that goes in there will be it's like a truth almost and uh, that's where the USB will be mounted it'll be mounted in the Etsy default folder after that just do CP Etsy straight to And again, if you guys don't use fish, it's it's so it's so useful as you can see. I, I love this. Uh, and uh, after that, just do a cp a at c now that will back up all the configuration files directly to my grub folder. So if anything messes up, I can just grab the files, but we're not done yet because that's just a backup configuration. <clears throat> What's really important here is that we mount the folder, which we've already done, and we install the target directory exactly to where we need it. So to do that, we just need to go here. And I have this written out already because it's a very long command, but dev stc. Now in this in this case, you don't need to specify the partition as we specified here. We need to install this to the block device itself. So just run that. And uh, as you can see, Grub is installing directly to my flash drive. Everything is going exactly where it needs to be. And uh, it'll take a bit of time, but if you're using USB 3.0, it should go right away. Very, very useful. And now the installation is finished. There was no errors. And then all we need to do right here is run the configuration and detect our boots and everything. And uh, what that'll do is it'll pull in everything, find our operating systems, and then if you ever have a problem with Grub, you can reload it and put it back. So here we have my desktop, and um, here is the flash drive that we just made. So I'm going to be a bad boy and do a hard reset. Now I'm gonna go over here to my super messy keyboard, press the F11 key, I just select my USB device. And uh, as you can see, this is my grub, just as is normal. And uh, that's literally it. It loads Arch just like it's supposed to. 
you can see my XFS and everything is just, it found the kernel, it found everything. It's just like if you were to use it on any other computer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Fun With Linux. I'm trying to do more of these quick tips, make it more interactive. So it's not just me sitting in a screen and showing you stuff or just sitting in front of a camera. I want to make it more like this. So please leave me feedback and please be sure to tune in on Friday because we've got another episode of Adventures with Linux coming. Patrick has been having some problems with Ubuntu and I'm sure you guys all want to hear about that. And we got the vlog going. I've been doing it. Uh, I started today. Uh, I'm going to vlog behind the scenes stuff and on shoot day when me and Patrick go to film Adventures with Linux, you'll see some behind the scenes for that. So enjoy and if you like this video, please click the like button down there and click subscribe as well and don't forget if you want to do this tutorial please check the description down below because everything that you need to know is right there.